Okay, everybody. Well, welcome to part two in our crankshaft slash piston video, right? Now, uh, we're going to be creating the pistons today. Uh, we need to clean this up first because, uh, as you probably saw, this axle is running straight through. And if you're going to have a, a piston a shaft moving around here, it's going to hit that bar, right? So we're going to kind of clip that open, uh, but that's fine. We're just going to jump in this shoe right here, all right? And anywhere where there's one of these, you want to cut this out, right? That section right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in here and we're going to go to um, edge. Uh, let's see, what's the best way to do this? I think it's maybe even easier to just go to insert edge loop. We'll do it that way. Insert edge loop and then we'll set it to uh, manual. That's fine. And we'll basically go in here, put one in here, move it in there. Yeah put one in here, move in there, one here, move it there, one here, move it there, one here, one here, and let's see, one here, and one here. Okay, Q on the keyboard. So now if we right click and go to face, and we select uh, this, and shift select this, and this, and this, and we hit delete, there you have it, no problem, yeah. Okay, so now if we rotate this whole thing, right, uh, what you would see is that um, it would all stay together and this line is straight and that's exactly what we want, right? So why not, let's, uh, let, why not? Yeah, let's do that first. Okay, so we need to make sure that the pivot point on this guy is centered and I'll hit a W so I can see if it is and it is, yeah, perfect. That's good. Then we need to make sure that this guy is. So we'll take this and this and go to mesh and uh, combine. There you go. We'll have a look and see if that is centered. From this point of view, it looks like it is. After frame, and it is. Yeah, good, good. And then what we need to do is um, connect these guys up. So this will be one piece. So we're going to go to mesh and uh, combine uh, this one as well. Let's see, shift to select this guy. We're going to hit G to repeat. We'll take this, we'll hit G to repeat. And we'll take this and we'll hit G to repeat. Now what we need to do is put the pivot points of this guy, this guy, and this guy, and this guy in line with that main axle, right? So let's do that. So we'll start here, number one. Okay, we're gonna uh, hit the insert key. And every time I say that, people say, what's the insert key? It's the INS key, insert. It's uh, left from the home key and just above the delete key, depending on your keyboard layout, right? So we're gonna move that over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down uh, V to snap that. And let's see if that is okay. We now need to move it over here. We want it centered between these two. And uh, it's a bit finicky, but we'll get there. Yeah. So we'll uh, move the pivot point over here. Just a pivot point, not the object. Yeah, there you go. Hit that insert key again. Now, these are not going anywhere. So we don't have to be as exact, right? but that should be fine. So let's do this. Well, that one's already in the middle, yeah. And let's see if I can bring it down from here. Probably not, but get it pretty close. And then we'll go and have a look from here. Okay, once again, we're gonna hold down V. Come on. There you go, that's centered. And it's also centered there in the middle, which is fine. I know this looks a bit tedious, but it's uh, something we have to do. Yeah. All right. One more insert key. We're going to move that. Come on. Just the insert key, please. Yeah. Thank you. And uh, like I said, it can be a bit finicky, but we'll get there. All right. Let's check. That seems to be all right. And then the last one, we're going to hit the insert key once again, and we're going to move that down. After frame that up, 
And we're going to hold down the V. F to frame. I'm not sure about that one. Let's trim that up. Yeah, we want to go a little bit higher there. And there you go. So let's uh, check to double tick. So that seems to, nope, this guy, what just happened there? That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. What's his problem? I think it's because I still had insert on. Okay, sorry about that. All right, insert key, we're gonna move. All right, insert key, we're gonna move that down. F to frame, hold down V, there you go. And then from this point of view, let's bring it in here and hit the insert key again. So final check, one, two, three, four. Seems to be okay. All right, now uh, let's see, we got this guy right here that we want to rotate as well. So we're gonna take this and this and go to mesh and uh, combine, yeah. And then let's see, we want to parent these guys. So when I rotate this, everything rotates with it, yeah. So we're gonna hit this guy and then shift hit this guy and we're gonna hit P to parent, yeah. And let's see if that worked. We'll move this around, it did, yeah, perfect. Then we'll hit this guy and this guy, and P to parent, this guy and this guy, P to parent, and this guy and this guy, and P to parent. All right, so now if we take this guy and we hit E to rotate, it should go around like this, and that's kind of the idea. The only thing that's not going around is that guy down there. So let's hit Control Z to go back. We want to have this guy and this guy, and P to parent. So if we now take this and we move this around, everything is rotating. Okay. All right, so we're all set for our pistons. Yeah, okay, cool, cool. Okay, so now that we have all that, let's start with our uh, pistons. Now, we need the pistons to hug these little axles here. So what we're gonna do there is we're gonna go and uh, create something that will fit that, obviously, yeah? So um, I think we're gonna start with kind of a, a bearing. So for that, we'll take a polygon pipe, create polygon, and uh, where to go, pipe, yeah. We're gonna E to rotate, we're gonna hold on J, we're going to flip it on the side, we're going to hit W, we're going to pull that over. We're going to hit R, we're going to scale that way down after frame that. And I want to get this uh, in place so I can kind of uh, check the diameter here. And we'll hit F to frame. That's the guy we want. So we're going to hit the, uh, the V key to snap it right there. We know now exactly where we're at. We're going to hit R, we're going to kind of scale it down until it's hugging that axle. Let's hit W, push it in the middle here so we can see it. Okay, and maybe a bit more. So, now the cool thing here is you only have to do this once because once you have one of these, you just copy it over, yeah? Okay, so you're going to get an edge, double click, double click. We're going to take this one, double click, and we're going to shift and double click. We're going to bevel, uh, let's do 0 0.2, I think that's fine, yeah, all right. So now that we have that, we're going to perk this guy over here, and the reason why I made it this thick is so we can give the rest of the thing a little bit more body, if you will, yeah. So what we're going to do next is we're going to take, um, I would say, a secondary one, uh, so we're going to control D to duplicate, we're going to hit R, we're going to Scale that up after frame. Let me make sure it's the right dimension. All right, we're gonna push that in to, I would say about there. Yeah, that looks fine. 
And then we're going to do is we're going to go in here, we're going to get in the face and we're going to take this area here and then hit shift period or point to select that top half there like this. Yeah. Let's delete that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to extend this over. So um, the way to do that is to go in here and take one and two and three. And I think I'll just copy that over later. Yeah. So we're going to uh, delete that. And then we're going to go in here to edge one and two and control E to extrude and W to pull out. Now we're going to attach that up in a second. Let's see how far we want to go. Um, after frame, not that far, I would say maybe something like that. And the reason for that is we need that to uh, bolt it up. Yeah. Now we need to connect this little section up here, but I want to straighten out that edge first. Uh, so we'll do that here. And we'll go in here to vertex, drag, select, and let's straighten that up like this. And then we need to connect this little section here. Yeah. So insert edge loop. Let's go to uh, manual and we'll put one in here. And, and there you go. And now we can jump in here. And actually, let me uh, straighten this guy out as well while we're at it. Let's go to vertex. Let's take this guy. Alrighty. Hit W and move that over as well. Okay. Alrighty. So now that we have that, let's uh, clean that up and close that up. And we're going to go up to uh, target weld. That one's going to go right there just to this one that's all that one goes not there come on don't be like that this guy goes there this guy goes let me try that again oh sorry didn't put the edge in that's the problem yep Sorry. Let's put one in there. Let's make sure it's aligned properly by looking right here. Uh, here. Yep. Sorry. W to move. Move it in. There you have it. Yep. And then we're going to go in here and we're going to go to vertex. We're going to go to target weld and target weld that's fine Q on the keyboard we're going to right click and go to edge one and two and edit mesh and a bridge option box linear path is zero and bridge there you go one and two G to repeat last command and then we'll do um, no, that's a bit too much. G to repeat last command. G to repeat. G to repeat. And G to repeat. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I want to copy this over. So we're going to go in here and we're going to take this. We're going to delete that. We're going to go to this guy in object mode right there and then we are going to go to edit duplicate special option box negative one on x duplicate special we're going to select both let's go to uh, mesh and uh, combine and then we're going to right click and go to vertex drag select and we're going to go to edit mesh and uh, merge and there you have it right now we might want to bring these ends in just a little so I'm going to jump to the top, go to vertex, drag, select, drag, select, and hit R and slightly push them in. Now let's look at the proportions, but I think we're good. Yeah, we're going to go to object mode. Let's take this whole thing, this whole thing. Yeah, 
hit W, move that in here. After frame, looks good to me. All right, so we're gonna hit Control Z to go back. And let's uh, just push that over here. So now we know what we're working with, yeah. Let's take this guy, hit three to preview smooth, hit one to go back so we can see what we need to do. And what we need to do here is create some uh, bolts, yeah. So I'm gonna go in here first and take this outer edge here. And I'm probably going to, let's see, I'm probably gonna be able to do that in one go. Let's hit four so I can check. And that seems to be all okay, yeah. Five to go back. We're gonna bevel. Let's set that to uh, 0 0.1 maybe, maybe 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2 is fine. And let's do um, no segments just yet. This is fine. Let's hit three, let's see what we got. Okay, we're getting there. Um, I think we're gonna have to go a bit better than that. Let's hit Control Z to go back. That's the thing. Uh, I mean, you it's trial and error. Let's try 0 0.02, that's much better. And then we'll go in here, and I don't wanna add too much edge loop just yet because we're gonna copy this guy over, so let's do that first, yeah? So we're gonna take this guy, we're gonna hit Control D to duplicate, E to rotate, hold down J, and flip it over like this. And then hit W and raise it up, all right? Now, hit F to zoom in. I want a very tiny opening between the two. That's something like that, yeah? I think that looks good. So uh, let's have a look, yeah? And then from here, we're gonna extend this guy upward. And we're gonna do that with four, faces and we're simply going to delete those yeah okay so this is looking good so far now i want to have um yeah bolts okay so what i'm going to do there and let's see if i can smooth this just yet i'm just thinking about the order of how i'm going to make it all right okay we're going to extend this guy first just to keep things a bit easier yeah so we're going to go into edge like so, extrude, hit W to pull up. And we're gonna go with something like this for now. And the reason why I'm saying for now is because we need to figure out how far we can go and how far we have to go, right? Okay, so this is a good starting point, but now what I need to do is take all of this and bring it in here so I got a sense of height and proportion and all that, yeah? We're gonna jump to the top here, F to frame, and let's straighten out the top for a second, yeah? So we're just gonna go in here, we're gonna right click our vertex, hit W, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold on X, yeah? And we're just gonna make that a perfect straight line. Okay. Then we're gonna drag select and we're gonna hit R and we're gonna kind of push that in. That would be your typical position for that, right? The whole thing can be a bit thicker, looks like. So we'll do that. We'll take all of it, including this guy, yeah. And let's stretch this out. Let me group it. Let's stretch that out, modify center pivot, and then um, to a point where it looks more feasible, I would say, which would be something like that, yeah? Okay, now this arm needs to be way longer. Now, how long should it be? Well, the best way to find out <clears throat> is by taking one of these axles and uh, rotating it all the way down, yeah? So, um, uh, let's see here. I'll just take this guy and I might have unparented the whole thing, but I'll fix that off screen, right? So you don't have to go through that process again. Okay, so let's rotate this all the way down. Now when it's down here, 
you want to make sure that the height isn't a problem or the lack of height is not a problem yeah so let's take this let's hit w let's move this down and you're kind of seeing what i'm meaning there yeah so let's get this on that axle it's a bit finicky i know but it is what it is yeah so we're gonna move this to about here i would say just to give us an indication of how long this should be so that's the lowest point it can achieve and we need to have a little bit more meat up here yeah so we're going to raise this up because this is going to go inside the piston and we don't want the piston to hit this or the yeah the head of the piston to hit that yeah okay so now that we have that this is going inside the piston and there's really no need to model something you're never going to see right so what we're going to do there is we're going to go into edge and we're going to go to edit mesh and fill hole if i can find it mesh and fill hole there it is yeah now that's an end gone obviously so let's uh, fix that up modeling toolkit multi-cut four for wireframe mode let's get this out of the way one and two hit enter one and two enter one and two enter okay cool q on the keyboard five to go back okay that seems to be all right now that we have all that i can go in and smooth this guy out and kind of add a little detail and whatnot yeah so we're going to go in here we'll take all of that we don't need to take the ring out so let's bring it out here and uh, yeah i think we're going to add um some detail here so let's take these two and these two yep and what we're going to do here is we're going to extrude and let's bring that in uh, let's try 0 0.02 uh, out i mean yeah 0 0.02 and then the offset let's tweak that a little bit in what direction that's the one 0 0.02 that looks kind of neat we'll go with that and now we need to manually add some edge loops because as we smooth this out you see that it still needs a lot of work yeah okay so let's do that next so we're going to go in here and let's go into insert edge loop let me just combine this for a minute mesh and uh, combine Let's go to insert edge loop. Let's set it to manual. That's what it is. And let's start fixing this. We're going to go in here. We'll put one in here. I'll put one in here. I want one here. And then I want one there. Yeah. Then we want to have uh, one there. And we want to have one here. And one here. And that looks all right we're definitely going to need one right here and right here and then we'll put one in here and of course there are many ways you can do this but this is just uh, the way i do it yeah and then up here like i said you're not going to see that but let's just put that in there let's have a check here okay q on the keyboard let's go in here at three okay we're getting close that looks pretty good that looks actually very good uh, we just need to sort these guys out yeah so we're gonna select this we're gonna hit one to go back and these are the guys that we want to fix so we're gonna hit insert edge loop again put one in here One right there, one right there, one right there. Same on the other side. One and two and, nope, not there. Three and four. This one needs one at the bottom. That should help quite a bit. Okay, Q on the keyboard, let's go in here, let's hit three. 
much, 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 much better. All right. Okay. I'm liking that. Now, um, let's see what's next. Okay. So we're going to put this guy back in place. We're going to hit W. We're going to bring it in. And let's make sure it's in place as it should. F to frame. So. Yeah, that's fine. And like I said, we uh, we don't need to make four of these. If we have one, that's fine. Yeah. And then uh, from there, we are going to um, create the piston heads. Yeah. Uh, what we can do is put these in place, but maybe we'll give that a second. Yeah. All right. So what we're going to do next is we're going to take a polygon cylinder. That's going to be uh, the top there. We're going to hit R to scale down to sort out the proportions. We're going to go in here. We're going to raise that up after frame and let's position it correctly. So we know what's what and what's where. Yeah. So that's going to be there and we are going to uh, snap it to the center. And uh, let's have a look. Yeah, that's good. Okay. After frame. Let's raise that up and after frame again. And let me look at the side view here. I kind of want to see the overall proportions, right? Okay. Now that needs to be shortened a little bit. It doesn't need to be, but I want it to be. So maybe something like this. Yeah. Then we need to look at the position. So hit four and you see it can come down quite a bit to I would say about there yeah now let's work on some details quite some details actually okay what we're going to do first is we're going to add edge loops so let's go in here and we'll add one up here we're going to need a couple of rings right so we're going to add one here and here here and here and here and here okay and then i want one more right there q on the keyboard get rid of this now i want the sides to be flat and with the sides i mean the front here okay so we're going to right click and go to face so we're going to select one two three four that should be enough and we'll do the same at this end one two three four four yeah and we're going to delete that now what we're going to do next is we are going to uh, connect a, a line so we're going to go to multi-cut and actually we don't need the bottom faces here so let's get rid of those uh, hold on the tab key go all the way around and delete that so we'll get something looking like this now we need to um, take these in so click and shift Double click, click, double click, and click, double click. We're going to extrude. Uh, let's try 0 0.02, 0 0.01 maybe. That's better. 0 0.01, that's fine. Then what we want on the top here is to insert edge loops. And we'll do that manually. Uh, let's see trying to think what the best way is to do this. So I think, yeah, what we'll do, we'll do it differently. I'm going to right click and get a face. I'm going to hold on the tab key again. Come on. No, oh, it's still in the queue on my keyboard. Yeah. Thank you. Face. Nope. Now it's in face. Yeah, there you go. All right. So hold on the tab key. Let's like this extrude let's hit r and pull that in come on extrude let's tweak the offset to 0 0.1 i would say and then we'll uh, do that again And then uh, let's do 0 0.1, there you go. 
So now we can go in here, we can take this vertex in the middle, that one, hit B for soft select, and we need to kind of make that top a little rounded. So we're gonna hold down B and left click and drag until we only have that. Let's raise that up, and as you can see, it's a bit too small, so we're gonna increase that. And let's see, let's exaggerate that for a minute. Okay, maybe make it even bigger. Yeah, there you go. That's the top that I wanted. All right, Q on the keyboard. Then we're gonna go in here, hit B to turn that off. And I'm gonna right click and go to edge. And we're gonna take this guy and shift select this guy. And we're gonna go to edit mesh and bridge. Like that, okay. Now we're gonna to need to close that up, of course. So we're gonna go in and put one, two, three edges in here. So let's set it to multiple and three, like that, Q on the keyboard. Let's see how close they are. And let's just go in here and hide this guy for a second, yeah? We don't need that right now. Okay. We're gonna take this F2 frame, we're gonna go in here and we're gonna close these up here. One and two, edit mesh and bridge. One, two, G to repeat. One, two, G to repeat. This guy, we're gonna go to fill hole. And this guy, G to repeat and fill hole. Yep. Alrighty, now we're gonna do that here as well. I could uh, cut it in half and flip it over and I think that's by far the quickest way to do it. So just need to make sure I know which side is cut. That side is, yeah. So where am I at here? Oh, there I can see it, yeah. So I'm gonna go into face, I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna get rid of that, I'm gonna go in here, select that. And what I want is, um, let's see, I'm gonna go to edit, duplicate special option box, and set it to negative one right here, and duplicate special, yeah? Okay, so that's what we got. Now we're gonna drag select this, go to mesh and combine, and then go to vertex, drag select all of them, and go to edit mesh and merge, yeah? Okay, not bad. Uh, let's see, from here, what we need um, is basically to have a pipe run through this, yeah? And I'm thinking what the coolest way would be to do that. We're gonna go to insert edge loop again. Let's set it to two. And then we'll put in two right there. That should be about it, I would say. We're gonna hit R, we're gonna kind of stretch that up a little bit until we have a nice square going on here. So right there, close to a square. Something like that, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna go back and I'm gonna do it from this view by simply taking these and kind of stretching them out until I have something looking like a square. And I think that looks all right. So I'm gonna go in here, one and two. That's where I want that to happen. So multi-cut, we're gonna go from here to there, hit enter, and then from there to there, hit enter. Do it on this side as well. One and two, enter, and one and two, enter. All right. All right, so now that we have these, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that vertex and that vertex right there, come on. So now that we have that, we're gonna take this one and this one, and we're gonna hit four to make sure that we only have these two. So that one and that, come on. So that one and that one, yeah, cool, cool. And we're gonna go to uh, chamfer vertices. 
Okay, that's not bad. Now I need to uh, make these holes larger, but I need to do that one at a time. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna insert an edge loop first, multiple and one, and I'll put it smack in the middle. So we're gonna have this Q on the keyboard. I'm gonna right click and go to vertex, drag select these. Yeah, and those are the ones I want to play with. And again, I'm gonna do it one by one. So bring that out like so, and then take um, this one, this one, that one, and that one, and scale that up a little bit like so. Now, because I'm using the scale tool, I need to be careful that I'm not pushing it out and it looks fine, right? Now we can do the second one, the same deal, like that. We're gonna jump in here. We're gonna scale that out until we are aligned with the other one and then we're going to take this one and that one and that one and th not that one and that one scale them out and there you go okay cool now that i have that what i'm going to do next is i'm going to go in hit q on the keyboard go into face select one select two delete delete go into edge double click shift double click and go to um, bridge yeah alrighty so from here because we are gonna smooth this guy most likely um, maybe maybe not maybe let me see let me just have a look here I think this looks actually pretty good all right I'm just gonna have a look anyway just to, for the heck of it that looks better Okay, we're gonna to want to go back. What I'm gonna do is injured edge loop, and let's set it to manual, and we'll put one in here to hold that edge. Put one in here to hold that edge, and that should basically be it. Yeah, Q on the keyboard. Let's go in here. Hit three to preview smooth. All right, maybe one here. Okay, so injured edge loop again. It's still set to manual one right there. All right. Q on the keyboard. Hit three to preview smooth. Looks fine to me. Although, you know, you know how I'm, right? Every time I see something, I want to do something. Yeah. Double click this guy and this guy and this guy. And then we're going to flip it a little bit. And then we're going to shift select that one that one and that one let's bevel that let's do 0.01 right we're gonna go and hit three to preview smooth yeah much better okay so we're gonna go in here and we're gonna go to mesh and smooth to actually smooth we'll set it to subdivision level two and then we can select it and hit one to go back all right we're gonna go to display and show all so this is our guy, yeah. Now we can adjust the height a little bit. So let's go in here. Let's hit W to raise that up. Okay, that looks fine. Maybe down just a little bit, not too much, yeah. And then what we want is for a, um, yeah, for nothing actually. We don't want anything. We want that to stay exactly like it is. Um, let me see, is that right? Yeah, I'm not a mechanic, so I need to think about this for a minute. I, th yeah, that's open, that's open. There's a, a bearing in there that will have it run round, yeah? Okay, cool. Now, uh, now that we have this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this guy and we're gonna um, duplicate it yeah and we're gonna move it over so it's perfectly on top of this guy yeah and then we're gonna hit shift D and shift D so we got all these and the only thing that's gonna change here is the height right so what we need to do is we need to uh, take these guys yeah control delete and uh, not control delete uh, control D to duplicate I'm gonna move this over and I actually wanna make sure I got that little 
thing in there as well. So let me just uh, take that and go to mesh and uh, combine. Yeah. Did I duplicate it already? Yeah, it looks like, yeah. Okay. So we're going to bring it in here. And what I need to do is I need to make sure that the top doesn't move from where it is, but the bottom does. Okay. So uh, that involves some very finicky stuff. I need to get this onto that axle, right? So here's that circle. So we're going to go up here. I have to frame that. Then we're going to jump to our pivot point here. Uh, not our pivot point, our position. And now I can align this one after frame. And that's the one I want, right? It's going to be done a little bit. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to hit the insert key and I'm going to bring it to where it needs to be after frame. So let me align the pivot point with my model here. That looks fine. The insert key. Now I can hit W and then snap it to this guy. And now I can rotate it in a way that if I hit E to rotate, it will go towards where it needs to be on that line, right? And that's exactly what we want. Now with that line, and it needs to move to the side a little bit, that's fine. With that line, we can now determine the height, right? So let's go in here and check this position. Right, so now we're gonna go in here and we can choose that height. Now, this guy needs to go up, All right? So and let's see how far up, and we can see that by looking at this guy. And as that is the only one that we're actually moving I know how far I need to go with this guy. So we need to rotate it slightly more than that. Okay, so we're gonna hit E. And let's have a look. Yep. Cool, cool. Okay, so that one looks fine. Now, because we have the pivot point on that low point there, we can uh, take this guy, and hopefully I got these little bearings in there. I do, yeah, that's fine. Okay, cool. So we're gonna uh, control, um, control D. We're gonna duplicate it. We're gonna W, we're gonna move it. And once you've done one, you kind of have the idea how you need to approach it, right? And I'm just figuring this out as we're moving along. So, so we know that it's in the middle now. And then what we're going to do is we're going to start to move it towards our axle, which is up here. And then bring that way in. I have to frame that. And I'm only looking at this guy right here. And now that we're closer to our axle, I can go in here and focus on where the actual position is, which is here. So I'm going to hold down a V and snap it right there. And now I'm going to start to rotate it inwards to that point right there, which would probably be around there. Yeah. Then we're going to make sure that we're still in the middle and we are not. So we're going to go over here and have a look. Okay, should be about right. Then we're going to take this guy, we're going to move that up and hit F to frame. And let's check and double check how far we need to move up. So, a bit more than that. 
let's see if we're centered or at least close to centered okay so we're gonna rotate this slightly and I'm gonna take this guy and we're gonna W and we're gonna very slightly raise that up and there we go so that's number three and then we have one more to go we're gonna hit control D to duplicate and W to move over and let's have a look and yeah after frame it's in the middle then we're gonna go and rotate this guy so we're gonna E to rotate so where are we at we're right there yeah okay we need to get on our axle first which is over there yeah W to move F to frame so we're pretty close to where we need to be after frame again so we need to be down here so we're gonna hold down V snap it we're gonna to start to rotate it inwards like so and then we'll get it into place that's fine yeah and then we're gonna take this guy and it's gonna go straight up and it can't go anywhere else because it can only go up or down and that's kind of our reference right so let's see where we're at and let's see where we need to be where's our axle it's right there yeah okay so let's have a look here so we need to adjust that angle a little bit That looks fine. Okay. So let's check, check, double check everything. This is in the middle. It's in the middle. It's in the middle. It's in the middle. These are all looking good. Okay. Alrighty. That all looks good. Okay. Well, that's how it's done. Uh, or at least that's how I do it. And uh, yeah, it's a little bit trial and error. I mean, it's always a thing when you model something like this uh, in this manner, which is kind of figuring things out as you move forward. But that said, it's a lot of fun, right? At least I had a lot of fun doing it. I hope you did as well. Um, please hit that like button if you enjoyed it. If you want to see future videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Uh, thank you so much for watching and see you guys next time. Bye.